What's going on, guys? Sin for the win here, and we are back doing our GM mode commentary with the Calgary Flames, and we've done it. We won the Stanley Cup convincingly against the Carolina Hurricanes in four games. We swept them, and it was just a fantastic series. And, uh, I mean, it was a fantastic play, a fantastic season, but it's over now. Now we got to go to the offseason face next season. And a lot of ideas coming up already about what we should do with players, and we'll get to that. So I will, I will be doing the draft, and um, I'm not sure about re-signing. I kind of always like to get your guys' opinions. Maybe I'll do the uh, first re-sign stage, leave the uh, open free agency and trades um, to let you guys um, get your uh, what am I saying? Uh, get your opinions out. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, he's offering a renewal, of course. Uh, blah, 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 whatever, agent, come on, give me, whatever, Calgary, yeah, there we go, all right, all right, all right, so anyway, as we're simming here, I'm going to kind of think of a game plan here, because yeah, Wheeler's getting up there, Kane is getting up there, but I, there's this, um, there's a thing saying to, I, th I forget who sent it, um, to, to sign Wheeler again, to trade him, um, I don't like that, especially if the dude declines, if the guy declines, I will have signed him for nothing, really, he's gonna play, like, third, second or third line time, and I can't really trade him for anything, so, almost hoping he retires, and I'm not gonna trade Patrick Kane yet, Patrick Kane just produces, like, he's, I, he's, he's the type of guy who can re literally retire on this team, like, move down to the second line and still play there, and, uh, wow, what the hell was that? I thought my game froze for a sec. But, um, yeah, like, Patrick Kane really is a guy who can retire. And uh, the uh, backup goalie thing, um, that's not a high priority for me. Yeah, sure, it'd be nice to have, like, a solid backup, but we're training one up in the, uh, in the minors right now. And, um, you know, like, I don't, it's not, like, we have Gwyndon. I mean, the only... We're always going to be a playoff contender, and then when we get to the playoffs, we're not going to really be using a backup. Unless Gwyndon, of course, gets injured. So, yeah, there is that argument. So, that is something that we need to worry about. Okay, so, retirements. Uh, Martin Hans. Oh, Brent Burns. He was on Boston. Okay. Krejci. All right. Eric Stahl. He retires oh, in the st after losing the Stanley Cup. Uh, Savard. Let's see. Uh, Richards. <laughs> Richards retires. Uh, Paul Stastny retires on L.A. Interesting. Muzzin. Oh, wow. Dustin Brown. L.A. had a few retirements there. Uh, Keith Yandel retires on the Rangers. All right. Galliardi retires. Uh, San Jose. No one. Oh, they had Jamie McBain, and he retired. Okay. Uh, Bo Meester retires. Oh, wow. Oh, Ryan Callahan retires. Jeez. Uh, Andrew Ladd retires. Leo Komarov retires. Holy crap. Ig Ovechkin retires. No. <laughs> Dude, wait, did he win his cup? I feel like the Capitals won a cup in this uh, play, th in this GM mode. I'm not sure, though. Niskanen and Green. Anyone in free agency? Not really. Okay. How about goaltenders? Anyone want to know? Uh, oh, Jonathan Quick. Wow. That seems kind of early for him, right? I mean, only, s I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure how old he is, but that's crazy. Jonathan Quick retires. So, L.A., quickly falling off, so they're in, they're in the, I bet you they're in the middle of a rebuild right now, they have to be, interesting, alright, so here we go into the draft, alright, so, game plan here is, I don't know if I want to trade up, I don't really think I, no, no, I'm, what am I talking about, I have those two first picks, yeah, but would I want to trade up, we'll see, all right, so here we go, getting into the draft. We'll see if I can trade up anywhere. So into the top ten, like the Rangers, the Panthers, the Wild or Philly, maybe even L.A., one of those teams. I have the two two late first-rounders. I don't know if they'll be worth a pick like that, but we will see. All right, so, yeah, let's just go to uh, proposed trades. So, uh, what was it, New York Rangers were the first ones. So if I wanted, like, the 10th overall pick, 
Oh, wait. Oh, they have the third overall as well, and 10th from Arizona. So let's say we're going for the 10th overall. So they're not really losing anything. I can give them the third and the 24th. And that should go through easy. They don't want to give this up, but that should go through. I actually could probably get get someone else. Now I just have to remember who the higher teams were. The eighth overall pick, that's kind of looking good. How about the seventh? Six overall, like from uh, L.A.? I don't think this goes through, though. No. I'd have to go for the eighth. Yeah, let's go Minnesota for the eighth overall pick. I'm just going to try to do this straight up. Two first for their first. Yes, okay, we got that. So we moved up to the eighth overall pick. We have a top ten pick for two late, late first rounders. And this is kind of what I was looking to do. So we can get a really good prospect. Yes, I will shut down my phones. I'm not going to be making any more trades. Okay. Wow, look at that name. Pakala non I don't know. All right, so let's see what we have. I would like to attempt to replace. Um, all right, that's weird. I thought we had top 10 scouted. Maybe they all got picked up. So center playmaker, offensive defenseman, or right wing two-way forward. I'd probably go for the center playmaker. Yeah, we have McDavid. and Because I could play this guy on the wing when someone like Patrick Kane retires. I kind of like that idea. I know I don't have him scouted, but I don't need defense. And a right wing two-way forward, I'm not keen on. So I'd rather go for the center playmaker. Morgan Morgan. <laughs> Look at his name. I have to get this guy. Morgan Morgan. Oh my god, that's my sister's name. Morgan Morgan. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I'm picking him up. Don't care. Picking him up. <laughs> All right, so we'll get Morgan Morgan. <laughs> I can't get over that. That's so stupid. All right, so quick sim into the second round. We don't have a second round pick. That's fine. Uh, we will draft the third pick. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why is that? Why? What the hell? Hurry up. Yeah, give me the third round so I can have a pick that's going to be terrible. But whatever. All right, so let's see. This probably you probably got someone scouted around here. Yes, we do. Three and a half star players, defense and offensive defenseman. Three and a half. I mean, maybe he's three and a half gold. I don't really know. Who's the highest rated? A center playmaker. Don't need two way defender. Uh, we'll go for that two way defender. All right. So, and I will draft again because I had some other guys in there that I might be able to get with the the potential that I have scouted. Okay, uh, no, we got picked up, but that's all right. Left wing sniper, I'll just pick this guy, maybe use, <laughs> whatever. All right, I'm actually drafting a lot myself, but that's how I kind of get more when I, when my scout gets better. Although this year we didn't have anything, everything scouted too well, which is a bit odd, but I'm cool with it. Yeah, okay, so. Enforcer? Fuck yeah. Give me that. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm just going to let the computer draft the rest. There's going to be no one here. Oh, come on. Now I press B. Alright, so there's the draft. And you guys are going to want to check out the first five picks. I saw that comment. So Chicago, Detroit, Rangers, Boston, and Pittsburgh. Okay, hold on. Chicago, Detroit, Rangers, Boston. I'm going to forget. I'm trying to close my eyes to remember it. Um, and I'm not going to. So I'm just going to write it down real quick. Chicago, Detroit, NYR, Boston, and Pittsburgh. All right. <laughs> Apologies for that, but it is necessary. Alright, so now we finished the draft. Let's get into the re-sign phase. And then I will check out the other teams. And I'll check out our prospect. I'm really hoping we didn't move up for shit. Because I, I put a lot in that. But that is also the reason why I got that other first round pick. I wanted to move up for a really solid prospect who could replace someone like Kane in a couple years. Or like replace a Wheeler. You know what I'm talking about? So, Alright, let's go into the re-sign stage. But first, we're going to check out... Our players, uh, Morgan Morgan, 70 overall, um, 
18 years old, four and a half gold star. That's pretty good. I would have liked him a little higher overall, but he can. St he's still going to grow into something good. Petrovic, 76 overall, four gold stars still. So he's still. He's moving up as well. All right, Uric, just hanging steady there. So is Fox. That kind of sucks too. I was hoping Fox would get up there. All right. Um. Anyway, well, they they could still grow after all this stuff anyway. So. So first of all, we got to see who we have to resign. We got to resign Kane, and I will resign Kane. I mean, he's he might drop the four star, but there's no way he drops the three and a half star. So, I. I'm I'm gonna sign him. I really think I should. Uh, Zboril needs to be resigned as well. Hold on. But first and foremost, gotta sign Kane. And how much is he gonna want? Uh. Yeah, it goes. Oh wow. Yeah, eight mil a year, but three years. Get him up to thirty-six. That's really is cutting it close, but it really goes up after that. 37? No, I, I'll take him till he's 36. I know this seems risky, but I could trade him when the time comes. Alright, so this is going to be a big signing. Holy crap, why did I... I might, I might just exit out of this and go back <laughs> to try to move that up there. Jesus, I accidentally hit the two-way. He wants four years. That's kind of ridiculous. Alright, so... I can get him for three years at 7.5. Easy. And that's pretty damn good. All right, so Patrick Kane, get him. All right, and Zboril, we'll need to get this guy. Definitely. How much is he going to want? Not that much. I'm kind of digging that. He only wants two years yet again. Um, and I'll get him for something like 6 mil for two years. Uh, yeah, let me try just 6 mil flat, and if that doesn't work, I'll have to go up a little bit. But 6 mil flat for two years for Zboril is pretty damn good. All right, uh, Toffoli we need to re-sign as well. How much is he going to want? Five years. I'll take you four. Ah, he wants more for four years, huh? So five years. I can do five years. Take him up till he's 35. Uh, yeah, I can always trade the dude, so. Same thing with this guy. See if I can get him for five years for 6 mil flat. All right, so there we go. Five years, six mil flat. And uh, Blake Wheeler. I was hoping this guy retired. Really was. I don't know if I want to re-sign him either, so I'll hold off on Wheeler. Someone was saying to re-sign him to uh, trade him. I don't know about that. Konichev, if this guy wants a two-way deal, I will definitely sign him. No, he does not. Eh. Poirier, maybe. He seemed to decline. Uh, Schuster, good for depth. Just in case. Uh, one year. Doesn't want a two-way, but I can get him like that. One year for that much. And Lofton, same thing. Depth slash fourth liner. For Lofton. Oh wow, a lot of guys down here now. Uric, gotta resign Uric. He's restricted as well, gotta resign him. Yeah, he does not go up. But he's a solid fourth liner, so I can get him long term if I wanted to. He goes down with short term, but price is not really an object for someone like Uric for me. Um, actually, maybe. Uh, let's get him. Let's give him four years. Four years at one million. I should be able to sign him for that. Take him up till he's 30 years old. All right. Um, not sure about this guy if I want to re-sign him. Weatherspoon. Could be depth, could not. Actually, should I even re-sign this guy? Nah, he's not that great. I could probably sign someone better, but how much does he want? Uh, he wants a two-way, so actually, yeah, I will take the two-way on him. Oh, he wants less if I do him for three years two-way. Let's actually do that, because then I could just hold on to the dude for some depth for a while, unless he starts declining. But even if he starts declining, we hold him in the AHL. He's not costing us much money, so. 
I'll do that for Witherspoon. Urix, Saban. Same thing, another depth guy for the AHL. Um, how much is he going to want? One year at a... Yeah, do that. One year, two-way. All right, um, anyone else? Who's this? Trent Fox, we have to resign. I'm trying, still hoping this guy will jump or something. There. If not, it's career AHL for him, which is a huge disappointment. But whatever. All right, so I resigned Trent Fox. Who's this guy? Colasar. Sure. Another two-way deal. He can play in the AHL. I'd like to make a pr fairly strong AHL team. This guy can play in the AHL as well. Jesse Meyer. Two-way deal, three years, sure. Or, sorry, Jesus Meyer, that's right. This guy was a draft pick as well. This Craig guy is slowly getting better. Grinder, Tierney, yeah. Gotta have those grinders. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, and, all right, Boyden... Rathji guy, yeah, I'll resign this Rathji guy. Two way. I'm gonna make sure I get all these AHL guys. He's like two way. This Boynton guy, playmaker center, three gold star. I will release this guy actually. All right, and let's just skip a day here and see what we come out with. I did a lot there, so we're gonna skip a day and see what we have. And I still got to remember about Wheeler. Do I want to resign him, play him again, or, or what, or let him go? Uh, we got Weatherspoon. We have Kane. All right, all right. Uh, we got Toffoli. All right. We got Schuster, Tierney, Lofton. Uh, yeah, we got Ratchy. We never signed that guy. Now we signed him, and he's ready to play in the AHL. Uh, Jesus Meyer, same thing. Um, Trent Fox, there we go. Sabin, there we go. It's Borrell, hell yeah. Uh, Uric rejected. Okay, hold on. Adjust the financials. Okay. Um, and then Colasar, yeah. All right, so we got to do Uric. Yeah, he, he wants his dough. That's understandable. Um, but hold on, we have 11 mil to work with. And Wheeler is our only big guy to sign. We could sign, yeah, I'll re-sign Poirier. He could be depth if anything else. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. He wants money. And 81 overall wants over 2 mil. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Oh, wow. He is great defensively, though. Good skater. Decent shooting. Not that physical, but uh, that defensive category. But for someone who's likely going to be fourth liner depth, I don't know. He did win the cup, and then again, he didn't do shit. I'll get him for one year for two mil. That's that's as much as I'm doing for the. I don't know. That's, that's quite a bit, but yeah, I'll do it. One year, two mil. He, he helped win us the cup. Um, McGinn, on the other hand, if I could get this guy for really cheap, but it looks like he might decline. No way. Yeah, no way I'm giving him anything like that. So I'm going to release McGinn. He was a good rental player, helped us win the cup, but he's gone. Thank you for your service, Jamie. All right, now someone like Blake Wheeler. If I want to re-sign this guy, one year, okay, so he wants the one-year deals. It goes up on two years, but he wants this one-year deal. And I can get him for something like 4.75 uh, for one year, which could be decent, and I could trade him, like you guys said. But for now, I will resign the dude because we're still waiting on some prospects. And if we find someone good in free agency, then we could trade Wheeler and sign him. And my GM rep will take a hit, but I could care less. All right, so these are all the major ones. Konichev, not sure about yet, so I'm still going to wait on this guy. Any goalies that I need to sign? I'm pretty sure... Yeah, Gwyndon's fine. This Williams guy. Who's this Duchesne guy? This guy's getting released. Alright, there's Bradford. I don't, I don't know who the hell that is. Probably someone who picked up in like the seventh round this year. Alright, so. McDonald. Alright, who's the guy we're training up? We're training up Odette, I believe. Yeah, we're trying to train up Odette to be that good backup. So I'm going to release McDonald. We can pick someone else up in free agency if we need to. Williams, I will resign. Because he still wants these two-way deals, so that's incredible. There we go. 
one year two way deal all right all right all skaters back to skaters Konichev or Poirier I already wait didn't I offer something to Poirier I think maybe that was just this time huh um okay let's see Konichev he wants an actual contract and I don't know if this guy gets much better, but he could. So we'll try him out for a year. A year 1.55? Might be cutting it low. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to get him to 1.5, because, but it's that might be really cutting it low. Uh, Uric. Oh, yeah, we got to do Uric. My bad. He's a big one here. So he didn't like that six-year thing, so I'll get him for four years at 1.150. I mean, wait, no, 1.1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't try to go too low with this guy because he wants his money. All right, anyone else? Uh, who's this guy? Hotchkiss. I'll release this guy. He's only 70 over I so I had gold star, but we have better gold star guys coming up that we're going to have to play to get them to grow. Um, Pavel Frolov. Uh, yeah, I'll release this guy. He's not good enough to play on the AHL team. Holy crap, why does it keep going up? I have to go all the way back down for this crap. I could just sort it and not have to do that. Okay, this guy released as well. Watch, it's going to go back up. Fuck you. All right, Wheeler, Poirier, Uric, Konachev. Okay, that was it. Okay, so let's advance a day and see who we, if we can get back everyone. Whoop. Taking a while. We got Wheeler, Poirier, Konachev, Williams, and Uric. All right, so we got Uric back. We got everyone back. Uh, let's check goalies, make sure everyone's back. Yep. Williams and Morrissey are lined up on their contracts. Odette, he's got an extra year. Oh, he's lined up with... Is that Gwyndon he's lined up with? Yeah. Gwyndon, man. Oh, wait. Gwyndon's a 91. Sweetness. I just noticed that. He moved up to a 91 overall. That is beautiful. Sweet. And he capped out. So he's capped out at a 91. Let's check all his individual stats. He's just fantastic. He really is fantastic. I love you, Gwyndon. He's only 5'11", too, which is... I think Arders Urbe goalie, man. Just a beast, really short. Alright, so we have 5 mil left to work with, and let's see how our lines are going to look. So we got 1, 2, 3... Oh, Gaudreau's 89, too. Uh, 1, 2, 3... Oops, these are... Uh, everyone, 1, 2, 3... 1, 2, 3... 1, 2, 3... 1, 2, 3... And then, yeah. So we're going to need a couple guys for depth. Maybe try to sign a score. But, uh, yeah. Third line not looking too good right now. So we're definitely going to look for, like, a third line guy. Fourth line, maybe also. So, yeah. Some uh, lower class players. We only have five mil to work with. So maybe we'll be able, only able to get, like, one or two guys. But for defensemen, we're fine. We got uh, Zborl, Lar Ekman Larson, Runblad, Jones, Girard. Oh, what the hell? Why didn't Jiraco? Oh, he might grow. And uh, Gravel. And for death, we got Schuster, Weatherspoon, and S Sabin. So, I mean, really, we do not need to sign any defensemen. These guys were perfect for us in the regular season. And we could throw in sh someone like Schuster or Weatherspoon to take, like, a top six spot. And we will still be good uh, come the playoffs. All right. So, I know some of you may disagree with me. Um... Wanting to keep Kane around um, and, and to sign Wheeler again. But I might trade Wheeler. I'm not going to trade Kane because Kane's only still only 33. Yeah, he still could decline. But, I mean, he's he's amazing throughout the season. But more importantly, he's amazing in the playoffs. Like, let me show you the main, the main reasons I'm going to keep this guy. Because offensive skills in this game don't decline as fast as the defensive ones. So, if you need, when you look at, oops, what the hell. When you look at someone like Kane, 
like he's his shot and his uh, puck skills and his senses those aren't going to decline as fast as his defensive and physical uh, that's not why i have the dude he might you know he might skate a little slower as well but it doesn't matter like his poise still 92 this guy this guy freaking produces in the playoffs like and in the regular season i mean look at the passing puck control hand eye deking like and his shot too like he's just you don't trade someone like this i don't think I mean, this guy. This this guy's a guy. When you have him, you keep him. Like Chicago's gonna do, you know, in real life. So, Wheeler, on the other hand, is someone I will trade, especially since he's declining. I only lined him up for one year, at a very, um, very much a lower price, stuff like that. So, I really don't think trading Kane is that good for the team. Yeah, you can reload and get younger guys, but. Like, we have, we have to go out and defend the cup this year. <laughs> That's our goal, man. We won the cup, but the hardest thing is defending that cup. And it would be awesome to win it two years in a row. But uh, we'll see. We're going to go into the free agency. I will show you guys what's available. You guys can chime in with uh, people you want to see me pick up or trades you want to see me make. I already can see it. You know, trade Kane, trade Wheeler. They're too old. Come on. We just won the cup, and you guys are already calling for their heads. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, Calgary. All right, um, yeah, blah, 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 um, okay, let's see who appears in the free agency, uh, no one, really, no one appeared, that's fine, uh, slightly problematic, though, because we kind of needed people to appear, wait a sec, Sam Bennett, oh, no, we had this guy, yeah, they released all these, like, prospects who, like, didn't turn out to be shit. Look at that. They're all 25, 26, dude. That sucks for them. Uh, just running through. I shouldn't even run through like this. But, yeah, of course, there's always going to be all these goalies that we can pick up. Anyway, all right. So that's what's available in free agency. Not much. And uh, you, we're probably going to have to make any moves that we're going to make is going to have to be through trading. Anyways, this is almost getting up to uh, 30 minutes. So, yeah, this is going to be Sin signing off. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, leave a like and a comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. How many of you are face palming? I went through all that work writing down the names, and I forget to show you guys the teams with the top five picks. So let me do that really quick since I forgot here at the end of the video. So... Um, this Betts guy, Sniper, 76 overall, yeah, that's, he's looking good, he's looking pretty good. Alright, so next is Detroit, and Detroit's guy, who'd they get? Um, looks like this guy, Brown? No. Uh, this Pope guy, I believe, yeah. Uh, 65 Sniper, wow. I don't, I think, I don't think they did too good, unless they got a goalie. No, they, wow, that that's a, not a good pick for Detroit, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, it has to be this Pope guy. And, yeah, that's not a great pick. I mean, what kind of player is he? Sniper, too. Yeah, no, that's not a good pick for Detroit. All right, so the New York Rangers are next. Their pick was this guy right here, Ernie. Patrick Ernie, 75 overall, four gold star. Again, not that strong, or was it this guy? Not sure. Um, either way, not not that great. I mean, well, Ernie. I mean, he's good overall, but uh, yeah. Unless it was some one of these guys. Yeah, it might have been one of these guys. Because I I couldn't check. Ah shit. Yeah, because I they 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 would have already signed him by now, so it's gonna be tough to tell. My bad, my bad. Oh, they're tendering this guy. Um, anyway, but Boston's next. Um, their player, probably this Edwards guy, Blake Edwards, they signed him. Yeah, I can see that. But I know there was a guy with a fucking ridiculously long name. Maybe it was Pittsburgh who signed him. I don't think it was, though. Pittsburgh. Yeah, shit. Maybe they got a goalie. They needed a goalie. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, they got this Ulanov guy. Yeah, they definitely needed a goalie, and they got one. But uh, who was the guy with the crazy name? I fig I feel like he was picked by either Detroit or uh, Rangers. I know he wasn't first overall, so Detroit. Here he is. Okay, a goalie. Yeah, they definitely needed a goalie. Pakalanvara. Pakalan. Pakalanvara. Pakalanvara. 
definitely finish. Am I right? Of course. Only a name like that, man. Uh, but he looks like he's going to be pretty decent. 19 years old, 4.5 gold stars, 69 overall. Not too bad. So, yeah, we found... I think we believe we found all the prospects here. <laughs> all right, so, yeah, sorry about forgetting to do that, guys, but I hope that makes up for it.